Hi guys and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Uh, if you're new here just take a look around. If you like my content feel free to subscribe that would make me really happy and then we will start with the video of today. So we have the CONCAF Gold Cup prediction preview just a little bit a talk about the teams what to expect i mean uh, yeah i'm not so sure about this tournament because i have the thinking that the quality will be kind of low um, let's take a look at the teams we have canada cuba martinique mexico bermuda costa rica haiti we have nicaragua curacao el salvador honduras jamaica guayana panama trinidad tobago and the united states and what we can already see here is that we have uh, like a lot of small teams um, they have also extended the tournament before there were 12 teams now 16 teams uh, i don't know if this was a good idea because yeah now we have a really really a lot of small teams which i don't know absolutely nothing about them for example curacao or guayana um, also martinique all these small islands here from the caribbean and uh, so yeah i mean what I think and also what most people expect is that Mexico and the United States will have it really easily here in this tournament to reach the final and then just play the final against each other. Um, these two teams are obviously the absolutely top favorites here in this tournament and so yeah I mean the only thing that can happen is that maybe we'll see surprises maybe smaller teams will step up I mean now they have the chance to show themselves on the international tournament for the first time or for the first time in a long time I mean let's take a closer look at the group so in group A we have the powerhouse Mexico I really like the Mexican team uh, they have really world-class players with a with Chicharito, with Raul Jimenez, an absolutely strong team. They have a lot of international experience uh, because they participated a lot in the World Cup. They have even won gold medals in the Olympics. They have won a lot of times the Gold Cup. Sometimes they do even participate in the Copa America. So really a really good experienced team. And yeah, Canada, Cuba. Yeah, I think they can take the chance now. Um, show what they got. Yeah, I think Canada will maybe finish second Cuba third or yeah I think these two teams can kind of fight for the second place to advance because obviously the top favorite here will be Mexico winning easily every game uh, I think they will easily take the nine points out of this group then we have Martinique which yeah I don't know what to expect about them uh, I think they get really smashed here in this group and now let's take a look at the next group here in group B we have with Costa Rica also are solid teams they have also world cup experience they're playing good so i think yeah i mean it's not a top class team but still they have their qualities and then again we have your bermuda and haiti two small islands um also if nicaragua kind of a not so experienced strong team i mean still here like they can fight for the second place i see here the best prediction for nicaragua here finished second and yeah bermuda and haiti finish on the lower places and still costa rica here again winning easily all these three games and then easily advance to the next round so if we switch now to the next group group c we have curacao el salvador honduras and jamaica and i mean here at least we have now two teams who are kind of on the same level honduras and jamaica kind of similar um yeah i mean both teams are not bad they are not very good either but i mean still here especially in this tournament uh who is kind of an extended version of it i mean they can step up advance i think they have good chance to reach the same finals maybe both of them i think here it's really important who is going to finish first because so you can avoid the united states in the next round and yeah i mean honduras or jamaica kind of hard to predict i would say jamaica will finish here at the first place yeah i mean these fast guys yeah like using bolts just running over the pitch scoring goals then honduras finish second maybe el salvador third and curacao last again curacao is a small island that can really not expect something big 
of them. Um, yeah, but still cool for them now to be here on the international stage. I think it's the first time for them. And yeah, we'll see what they got. But I mean, I think it's really hard for them here in this group to advance. Um, yeah, maybe they can get some points by Lucky Punch. I think it's uh, rather to believe that they're going to lose every game. And so yeah, if we go now to the last group, I think this group is the most interesting group because we have now at least three teams who have World Cup experience. We have the United States, we have Trinidad and Tobago, we have Panama. So three teams who have qualified for past World Cups and with Guyana against a newbie. And so yeah, here again, I mean, the United States, obviously the top favorite. They have a really solid team. Um, I give them also a huge chance to win here this tournament. Uh, I mean, yeah, so if not if the final will not be mexico against the us i would be really surprised i mean i can really not believe that any other team stand a chance against them maybe the most chance has costa rica to also advance to the final but still i see mexico and the united states really much superior uh, as the rest of the teams and if we go further here in this group d i think panama can finish second maybe trinidad tobago can also take their opportunities this is again mostly a fight about who is going to finish second because the united states will finish at the first place uh, i think they need to really mess it up to not finish first here in this group and yeah again guayana um, nice for them to be here but still i don't think they stand any chance and like in generally i yeah i'm not so sure what i should think about this tournament and um, with this extension of this tournament i always see that kind of the quality gets lower we have seen this in the past euro cup with uh, 24 teams i mean it's just too much in my opinion i think they should keep uh, the team numbers rather a little bit lower but therefore we'll have like better quality games i mean now we will see a game like bermuda against haiti uh, yeah so i mean seeing this on an international tournament yeah i mean it's yeah i know they want to kind of promote the football um, yeah we will see what uh, will they show i mean at least for them it's really nice to be here they can prove themselves now on the international stage and who knows maybe we'll see something surprisingly maybe something unexpected uh, one of the small teams will step up and go further here in this tournament at once to the next round or something like this but i mean yeah generally i mean i will follow the results of course but i don't think i will watch too many matches here in this tournament i'm rather more a fan of the copa america which is also taking place this summer i have also done a prediction video about this tournament you can check it out on my channel and so yeah let me know your opinion for which team are you cheering for uh, which team do you support which team do you think is going to win or yeah i don't know just your opinion uh, write it down and so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if yes please give a thumbs up to this video and that would be really cool and yeah stay tuned so i see you on the next video bye guys